YouTubers. Yes, it's still morning. I think it is. Yes. No, it's not. It's uh, 25 to 1. So anyway, I managed to fool away a Saturday morning, which is okay. Anyway, uh, this morning what I'm going to do is, uh, well, what I started out to do was actually coming out and doing some machining and some welding for a company that needs something done next week. And they said there's no rush. And so I said, I'll get a jump on it. I'll come out Saturday morning and do it. And I said, ah, it's a beautiful day. It's only about a minus one out. And the sun is shining, there's just a slight breeze. And our bugs are bunny, our, uh, for our, uh, our little bunny that miraculously showed up a couple of weeks ago. He came in for his breakfast, so he's out there eating now. So uh, we're going to uh, do a little experiment this morning. And uh, what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna do a wireless experiment. But before we do that, I wanna open up this uh, this letter, take off my glasses. I'm blind in one eye, can't see the other. But the atomic drill tells me I can see perfectly, so. This here is, let's see, Paul. I will talk to upper management about getting me a raise. God bless you both, thank you very much. Greetings, thank you for all the hard work that you've all put into your channel. Have a safe and warm day. Your friend Chris, Shake73. Well, thanks Chris, we appreciate that. And Chris send us a decal, which will go on our wall of fame. And uh, yeah, so thanks for that. I really appreciate it. Uh, we sent Chris on there a little while ago. And you guys are going to have to check out his website. I'm telling you, not his website, his uh, uh, YouTube channel. Because I'm telling you, he's into everything. Like, there's all kinds of interesting stuff. If you like vintage cars or anything like that, he's at it all. So. I'll put the uh, link to his uh, channel in the description, so you guys just uh, just check him out. So, thanks a lot, Chris, for that. I appreciate that. It was uh, really nice of you to think of us. Uh, at the end of the video, I'll show it uh, going on the door. So, yeah. So anyway, uh, in the pursuit of trying to improve our quality of our channel, our YouTube channel, we decided that uh, we're going to look towards a wireless system. Uh, our, our cameras are great. We're using GoPro, we're using uh, Innovation Drift cameras, we're using Sony. Uh, this particular camera that you're, that you're seeing me through here now is a high-end Sony camera. And uh, it's done fabulous, fabulous uh, videos. Uh, just the other night you seen Kathy out by the door with this thing in the cold and uh, you know, the camera worked pretty good. Now, in the meantime, the camera don't like LED lights because it has a hard time focusing in. It's like us looking at lights on a tractor or anything that's really bright. It takes a while for our eyes to focus, and in some cases, you can never focus. But the camera did pretty good. I was pretty uh, proud of both Kathy, the way she handled the situation, and, and uh, she got some quality footage, considering she was only supposed to be at it for 10 minutes, and she stayed out the cold for 40, so kudos to her yeah so but in the shop and out around the door when we're walking around sometimes without the wireless system your voice will drop off and you know people at home are saying what did he say or you're always adjusting your your volume so I, I I don't we don't like that we'd like to have quality all the way around both with the the video and the audio so we started off with a Sony wireless system and it's worked well in the shop outside it was dropping off a little bit so uh, we needed something to to improve on that so we'll use the Sony inside the shop we'll use this new system outside the shop and uh, yeah Sony inside other system outside and plus this system here this latest system by the way it's not hooked up yet uh, I'm gonna do a test shortly after so you guys can can see exactly what I'm talking about but uh, this system here consists of a handheld microphone as well and the reason why we have that is because uh, this summer we're going to have some very very unique videos for our uh, our customers some are going to be even a musical uh, uh, in nature so that's going to be uh, something coming up so i'd like to uh, open up this now and show you first of all this here is a 
case that we bought at Prince's Auto, it's kind of like a knockoff of the Pelican case. It's uh, around 50 bucks. It's a nice case. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the camera over and I'm going to give you a bird's eye view of what's in it. Okay, so here we go. So anyway, Kathy uh, got the case and uh, she did some of her fancy graphics on it, as you can see. She did some on the side, as you can see. And of course, this is what we're dealing with, folks. Sennheiser. It's a, uh, probably one of the top names in, well, in my opinion, in uh, audio equipment. So uh, let's open up the case and you can see she's did, she done more there as well. So we'll open up the case and see what we have here. And there it is, folks. So we have a transmitter that goes on to the microphone. It's a EW100G3 system. Uh, works quite well. What I like about this system over the Sony is this system here actually has a, uh, a, a meter on it, a decibel meter, so I can tell exactly you know, what our levels are. Uh, there are slots here for the batteries. These are loaded up with batteries now, so that's why the slots are empty. This here is the uh, receiver, and uh, it's all metal except for the door, and it's made in Germany, and I think assembled in the United States. And you basically just turn it on, as you can see, and you can do all your menu adjustments and stuff from there. And of course, this will hook on to the top of your uh, hot shoe on the camera and that will uh, plug into your camera as well so uh, and it's uh, it's got many many frequencies and it's uh, you can you can set it up to your complete surroundings so there shouldn't be any surprises with it so that is the uh, receiver this here is the body pack transmitter and uh, as you can see, it, it looks much the same, but it's not. You wear it on yourself. And uh, it has a, a mute button and whatnot on it. Just a, a real nice system. They say the batteries on it can last up to eight hours. Uh, if you look uh, inside, I have Duracell fast uh, charge, um, rechargeable batteries. So. You can pick up that particular kit at Costco for $24. This is actually the, the charger and it's fast. It's probably an hour and you got them all charged up, maybe even a bit faster than that. So, yeah, so I just included that with the kit. So, it's pretty neat. This here is the Sennheiser uh, microphone. It's an E835. And again, it's made in Germany. It's, it's no plastic on it, guys. It's, it's all metal. And basically what you do is you plug this in here. And, uh, and there you go. So, and you turn it on here, and it'll automatically peer up with your, uh, your receiver. And, of course, this is all adjustable as well. And you can tailor it to fit, you know, to, to work in almost any environment. This is, uh, in this particular case, this one will be good for interviews or even uh, some musical recordings. And uh, this here is the adapter that goes on your mic stand. So, and that's how it would, would work. It's, it's a great system, you know. So, that's basically what we're trying to do to... Uh, improve the channel and its quality. Uh, we like to think that we do things with quality in mind. Uh, we're not perfect, but we certainly try to be perfect with our, in our line of work. And uh, we think this system is going to greatly improve our video channel. So I hope uh, you enjoyed seeing a little look at what we're gonna be doing and what's coming up next. So, uh, yeah, I think you're going to, uh, I think you're going to benefit from it. We're all going to benefit from it. And uh, now I'll take my buddy uh, 
sticker. I'll give you a close-up of the sticker now that the camera is here by me. And uh, it's a great decal. So uh, you can like them on Facebook too. So well, I got to go over there, YouTube Shop Talk. Oh, pretty cool. So folks, this test is going to be with the Sennheiser E835 microphone and the EW100G3. Uh, That's the uh, transmitter. So uh, we'll do that test now. Okay, folks, let's give this a try. I'm going to walk down to the truck, which is about, I don't know, 150 feet away. And we shall see. Now I'm back onto the mic, so I don't have any cell phones or nothing on me, so shouldn't be any interference, but there is a lot of wires and a transformer there to my left. So I'm by the truck. So let's see if you can if you can hear me from here. The crows are still watching me, so they think I have something to eat for them. A little bit of wind. So I'll walk back towards the camera and we shall see what it sounds like. Well, I guess we should hear what it sounds like. I'm talking at a kind of a low voice. And as you can see, the microphone is about maybe a foot, foot and a half away from my gob. So let's have a look. And uh, hopefully we'll get some good audio. Okay, now I'm going to test the uh, Sennheiser EW100 G3 uh, body pack with the Sennheiser lavalier microphone, or mic, I should say. And here's what it looks like, folks, if you can see it. There's the mic, there's the machine. So I'm going to walk down so far as the truck. I'm kind of talking a little lower and a little calmer than usual. And yes, that is a rare event, folks. So you better write it in your in your notes because you'll probably never see me calmer or talking low as this again. So anyway, we're going to go down here. I'm back on again. As you can see, there's wires above. There's transformers. There's pretty well everything in the way. And... Uh, I'm going to walk down, like I say, to the back of the truck, which is approximately 100 to 125 feet. And again, I'm not, I'm not basically talking loud, I'm just talking low. And uh, if there wasn't snow, I'd walk down over the bank there. But yeah, so the camera looks pretty small from here. And of course, it's sitting right by the tractor, so I don't know if that's going to have any effect. I did uh, try earlier to walk down around the house and down over the driveway and I had perfect audio down by the road uh, and that was approximately 450 feet. The problem is, is these aren't really good for traveling in omni directions. Like when I walked in front of the house to walk down the driveway, I got a little bit of uh, missing in the audio. But, you know, you, you can only expect so much. In line of view, I think it's, it's perfect. I think you can go two blocks in line of view. And that's basically more than I'll ever need. So I'm going to walk back towards the camera now, as you can see. And we'll just see what the audio is going to be like. It's uh, set at uh, minus 45 decibels. I have the the little windsock on the the mic, the lavalier mic. It's a little tiny bit of wind, but you know, it's enough to know there's wind, but nothing great. And uh, we're just hoping that we can improve on our audio more so. Our, I think our video is pretty good. We got everything is HD in our videos, but our audio kind of lacked a little bit. It's uh, it's nice to have good audio and video. It makes for a better viewing experience. So let's have a look and, uh, and a listen and see what it sounds like. Okay. Now, where will I put this? Oh, there's a little empty space right here. So we shall put it there. 
you never believe how many people come in and look at the decals on the door. So it's kind of neat. So anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed this little tiny short video. And I, uh, I hope we'll see you in the next one. Because there will be a next one. We're going to have two up today. So we'll see you later. Take care. Have a great day. And God bless.